be my opinion on the Polk Audio 265 LS front channel in-wall speakers. Now, I installed them just a little over a month ago. These here, the speakers in my hands, are the ones I replaced. They're the RC55Is. Now these are great sounding speakers for the price. I mean, the, these speakers don't cost much at all and they sound great. Now, I want to do an upgrade to the 265 LS's, basically because of two reasons. I've had these for about seven or eight years. It was kind of time for an upgrade. But I also caught those on sale where they were $100 off. So it kind of helped out. So let's go check out the speakers and I'll let you know what I think. Now here are the specifications for the speaker. Look at the back of the speaker. Really the only connection is your positive and negative for the speaker wire. The rest of it's already fully assembled and ready to go. Before I play any music or a movie, I want to show you guys just a little bit of the install process. So if you do buy these speakers, you know what you're getting into. Go ahead and connect our speaker wire and push the speaker into the wall. Now you will have to turn this screw a lot. It has about an inch to go before it's going to tighten up to about half inch of drywall. So once you start turning them and you're like, man, this thing is turning forever. Don't worry, it will tighten up. You'll feel it start to get snug and then you only want to go about a quarter turn past snug. Comparison side by side, get the RC55i right here and the new 265 LS. Gonna pan across the front wall here so you can see the speaker set up. And we'll take a look at the rear surrounds. So you can see over there in the far corner, I still have an RC55i. And then we'll come over here to this corner and you can see the other rear channel speaker. And I have two of these Polk Audio HTS-10 subwoofers. There's one right there and another one right there. Basically in between this couch. The nice thing about these 265 LS's is they are the vanishing series which means they have a really fine speaker grill. It is magnetically connected so you can easily pull them on and off and that's what the speaker looks like in the wall. Now I have watched several different types of movies and I have listened to several different types of music down here since I installed these. I kind of watched the same movie. I watched Pirates of the Caribbean before I put these in and then I watched it again after I put these in. Now there is a noticeable difference. It isn't huge. You know, I thought it'd be a little bit more of a difference for the price. Uh, but those, like I said, those RC55Is are darn good speakers. Now these are definitely better. Like I said, this isn't a huge difference. These feel a little more like a full range speaker. <laughs> So that was just a little taste of some music for you. I'm going to go ahead and put a movie in so you can hear some dialogue. Now most of the dialogue is going to come from that center channel, but you are going to hear some from this. Jarvis, what's the view from upstairs? The central building is protected by some kind of energy shield. Strucker's technology is well beyond any other hydro base we've taken. Looks like the must be here. Being a surround sound system and you're on a budget, speakers like this are perfectly fine. That's what I did. Upgraded several years later when you had the extra money, it's no problem. But if you just want the best of the best, you don't want to worry about upgrading, go ahead and put those 265 LS's in and you won't regret it. I think they sound great. I'm glad I put them in. I'll probably be replacing my rear surrounds maybe in another year or two with those exact same speakers. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.